Hi boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton on board this Bayliner 2250 Skagit for a look around the interior in glorious virtual reality. Now, what does that mean to you? That means you can click and drag your screen or touch and drag your screen and you can look up, down, left or right whenever you like. You don't have to look where I'm looking. And we hope that this really groundbreaking feature will give you an idea about the, the space that this boat represents and if she might work for you. Now, some people do report that the camera moving around makes them feel a little bit funny. So if you think you might be affected, I will warn you when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes. And then when it's safe and I put the camera back down again, I'll let you know and you can come back to me and we can continue the tour around the boat. But let's hope you're not affected and let's hope you enjoy looking around this boat. So she's a 1970s Bayliner 2250 Skagit with one engine, with four berths. And here we are in the cockpit stroke saloon. So as you can see, I'm sitting on uh, what is uh, pretty much a double bed at night and during the day would make up to be a nice lounging seat as well. Rather nice, all padded and comfortable. And we've got access into the boat through the rear of the cockpit tent. Now the cockpit tent comes all the way around the back. So uh, that's going to make it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. And you do have the option of rolling the sides and the back up. And as you can see, we've got the back rolled up at the moment to give you more ventilation and more light. And if you want a little bit more privacy at night, you can roll the the white vinyl sections down too. So very thoughtful, very useful, and makes this whole area much more usable all the time. Very nice. We've got a couple of rod holders at the back, and we've got a, a, a boat hook under there, and under here we've got access to the engine, nice and easy, so if you want to have a quick check of it while you're underway, you can do so with no problem at all. Under the port and starboard side, the port is the same as the starboard side, I'll just move away. We've got some more stowage underneath here and some more stowage outboard also. And then moving forward uh, to about the middle of the boat, uh, we've got this, this galley unit here which I think is, is an add-on by the owners. And if you look underneath here we'll see we've got a small sink unit with manual water pump. And under this one here we've got a single burner unit or a single electrical unit there so um, with the addition of the microwave in this cupboard here we do have some reasonable galley facilities for a boat this size so you should be able to knock up snacks or small small meals for friends and family no problem at all and while you're doing it here you can talk to the people who are sitting here watching you cook their dinner for you can't you yes the camera's sitting on uh, what is a decent sized saloon table for this kind of boat I think You'll notice we've got carpet throughout. We've got drawers here, or sorry, cupboard here with battery in, cupboard here, drawers underneath too. So uh, th this boat really does have a decent amount of stowage on her. Also, as we go around, take note, we've got quite a lot of 240 volt sockets also. So plenty of um, sockets to plug your, uh, or get your kids to plug their iPhones into, etc. as they do. Um, but the, uh, the camera's sitting on the decent sized saloon table and we've got uh, a, quite a, a cosy table for four, I would say, or a really nice big table for two to sit there and enjoy their dinner. No problem. So let's look forward a little way. And oh, while we're here, let's do the height test. So under the cockpit tent, I'm five foot nine. And as you can see, I'm not quite touching here where it comes down. But if I move through here, then I'm slightly encumbered. I would say that uh, the, oh, it does slope up, up towards the front. So that's five foot nine exactly there. I think at the rear, probably about five foot eight or something like that. So the taller people amongst us may be stooping, will be stooping a bit, but the average kind of person may be okay and you might bump your head slightly at the back, but uh, that's not a problem. Um, so here we go. Forwards, we've got nice windows all the way around there, so really nice visibility for when you're driving. And the, the helm's seat, I think this is the helm seat here. We've got a nice foot support there. Um, so you can sit here, drive using the helm steering. We've got the usual kind of instrumentation you would find on this kind of boat. We've got uh, the fish binder, we've got the Garmin GPS unit, and we've got the engine gauges as well, so you can monitor what's going on beneath, uh, beneath the engine cover there, and also the throttle to the starboard side too. Looks to me like the windows open, port and starboard at the side as well, which is uh, a nice feature. And uh, all in all, quite a nice space. Nice, light and airy, smells good. Um, yeah, very nice. So let's pick you up and take you forward. So I'm going to pick the camera up now and we'll go and I'm going to open the door to the heads first and put the camera on the heads lid. There we go. So now we've got uh, an area 
that is open to the, the forward accommodation. You could shut yourself into the head if you wanted. Fairly small compartment, but a reasonable size for, for a boat this size. Um, I think nobody in the world would be able to stand up here and do anything, so it's a sit-down affair in here. But once you're sitting down, you've got your own window to ponder your life whilst you're sitting here, and, uh, and plenty of room forwards as well so uh, not too much of a problem there i don't think and the head is manual and you notice that uh, the door just shuts back there to give you some privacy from the um from the saloon but i think most people would prefer to have the actual door shut here i would <laughs> so let's uh, let's pick you up and take you from the head i'll close the head door and i'll place the camera in the forward v berth and i'll just uh, maneuver myself so i can turn around and there we go the carpet continues through here and in here we've got a, a V-berth, a, a, a nice decent sized one actually. I think the, the the average person could get in here no problem at all. We have a, uh, a an infill here so yeah really nice large and wide berth here. We've got some 240 volt cab, uh, sockets at the front. We've got windows port and starboard and a big hatch above for light and ventilation if you need it. So yeah I think you could spend a weekend or longer down here no problem at all. Um, what I would say is the headroom is quite low because you're you're under the fore deck here. Some people may be able to sit up and read here. I think probably most people won't, but if you just want somewhere to sleep, no problem at all, I don't think. And then on the port side, we've got a uh, uh, really nice large cupboard there for all your bits and pieces. You can see we've got a hoover underneath there, and uh, and uh, that's probably somewhere where you keep the bedding, etc., etc. So all in all decent sized sleeping area for this boat. So let's pick you up and we'll take you back aft and we'll sum up for this boat. There we go, I will put you where I had you before, on the saloon table in the corner. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Brighton Yacht Brokers showing you around the interior of this Bayliner 2250 Skagit in virtual reality. We hope that you got an idea of the space and how it flows and if she might suit you. And we hope you enjoyed the virtual reality format, which uh, which is groundbreaking, and many people report it really helps them to understand what the boat's like. But if you just wanted to pop along and have a look at the inside of a nice 70s bayliner, we hope you enjoyed that as well. So take care. If you'd like any more information, go to boatshedbrighton.com for more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. And above all, enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.